Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just have a cute little traveler's notebook project share to share with you guys and I love how this one turned out. It is like all pink. I love the paper collection I used also and I'll tell you guys that and I'll link it down below. Um, I don't have it on me right now, but it is so pretty guys. So it's a traveler's notebook following a tutorial by Lyric Lover Crafts. She um, she tells you where you to get these, but I'll link them down below as well, like these little vinyl cover kind of things. And she has a tutorial like on how to do the um, elastic and whatnot. So I followed her tutorial and I will link it down below. Um, on the cover here, I did stitching, zigzag stitching all around and some little stitching on this that says smile. I've got some enamel dots here. I did not do any paper piecing, even though it kind of looks like I did, but that was just the paper. And I love the outline of the flowers. I've got some seam binding here. This is from my scrap cabin shop. I love it. More enamel dots here. Some beautiful goodies peeking out here. And I made a pinkish chunky charm. So on here, you've got this that says, love this and that charm is a charm from Cheryl from her Etsy shop so you guys could check her out CRG art design um so that's a little charm that she made I have this one that says love some stars some wire wrapped beads that I wire wrapped this uh love one Cheryl actually sent to me um so she sent me that some in some happy mail I've got these little um fun ones got this one there's uh, this heart one there's another one here also from Cheryl shop that says XOXO um, some more wire wrapped beads and then I have a flower charm at the bottom on the back same kind of paper and just like my logo thing so when you open this up it's got three inserts on the inside and put that up there and I also have some cut aparts I added in this pocket here it says bloom and grow Got to cut apart. You could add a photo to the back or just add some other journaling and photos here and whatnot. I made this paper clip just with like some these flat, like flat back kind of heart things. And I double backed it onto a paper clip and I just turned it into a paper clip. Um, and I uh, covered up all of these notebooks. These notebooks are like a four by six size and they are from Dollar Tree. But I'm telling you guys, they're really hard to find. Um, I can't even link it down below because they're not available online. Um, but they are 4 by 6 size, which fits perfectly for this size kind of vinyl. And if you guys are lucky enough to find it, then good for you. That's fantastic. But they are hard, but they are hard to find. They do come in a 3-pack, so if you see them, grab them because, again, hard to find. Okay, so that's covered with that beautiful, like, pink background paper with the black hearts. This is a cut apart from the collection. It says my dream big list. I did have to cut it a little bit shorter and I added in a sticker here just for a little bit of decoration. And then you could add whatever here. And I had this um, heart paper clip in my stash that I just used on here as well, cause it's super cute. All of these notebooks have pockets on the inside. So front and back, they all got the pocket pages. So you could tuck more things into there. You've got plenty of space to do some writing and journaling and whatnot. Another pocket page. And then here is my folder. Um, I have this sticker that says it's the little things. I did uh, wrap this around with Tyvek just to make it sturdy because once you add the um, elastic to these, they kind of, if you don't uh, reinforce it with the Tyvek, they start to rip with the folders. So. That's what I notice, especially when you have like a strong elastic, because it's just like a paper, um, they, you know, they, they just do that sometimes. So then here you open this up. It is a folder. Oh, and this paper clip guys. So this is a bow that Cheryl also made me and sent me in some happy meals, cute little pom poms. How adorable, right? And she made it with tool. I don't know how she made that, but it's so cute. So I just attached it to a paper clip because I was like, I need to use that. It's so cute. And especially since I was going for a pink theme with this uh, traveler's notebook, I thought I, it fit perfectly in here. So it's so adorable. Anyway, so this you open up, you've got this uh, folder on this side, and then you've also got one on this side, obviously like a pocket. And I just have this like tag with some seam binding I stapled on here. 
This one says nothing but love. And then you've got this like journal card as well, but you could add in either to this side or to this side. So that's that. Um, uh, that's the folder. Then the next page, back side is blank. You've got another journal notebook here. Love this paper. Oh, I forgot to mention the paper. It's called um, Posh and Pink from Die Cuts with a View, I believe, I think. Um, I'll link it down below. And here in this pocket, I have another cut apart that I had in my stash and it just says, drink in the sunshine. So cute with some gold foiling, even though I don't have gold anywhere else throughout, but I thought either the person could use it or not use it. And then it just says, lovely and love you. I love you on the back here. And so cute. I love the pink theme. So adorable, guys. Let me know what you guys think of that as well. Love making these. I had a bunch of Easter ones that I made as well, and they all sold. Um, and I have this one that is a uh, um, for somebody. And I just wanted to show you guys because it's like the first one I made that was like a pink themed one, and I just thought it was fun, so I wanted to share. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I will see you guys in my next craft video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.